name is Jessica and today I'm going to talk about some books that I have read. This one's called Shallow and then this one is about 11 year old Marty. Preston loves to spend time up in the hills beyond his home near friendly West Virginia. Sometimes he takes his 22 rifle to see what he can shoot. Like some cans line up on the rail fence. Other times he goes up early in the morning and just sit and watch the fox and deer. But one summer Sunday, Marty comes across something different on the road just past old Shiloh's schoolhouse. A young beagle and the trouble begins. What do you do when a dog you suspect is being mistreated runs away and comes to you? When it is someone else's dog? When the man who owns him has a gun? This is Marty's problem and he finds it as one he has to face alone. When a solution gets too big for him to handle, things become more frightening still. Marty puts his courage on the line and discovers in the process that it is not always easy to separate right from wrong. Sometimes, however, you do always anything to save the dog. And this one, uh, like I said, this one's called Shallow. There's a couple of other ones that are about Marty and Shallow after this one. This next one, they've just, I think last year made a movie out of this one. And we have, it's called The Wrinkle in Time. We have the book and we have the graphic novel. So if you like the, the graphic novels, we have that one. And then we also have The Wrinkle in Time. And so, <clears throat> late one night, three otherworldly creatures appear in sweet Meg Murray and her brother, Charles Wallace, and their friend Calvin, away on an extraordinary mission to save Mr. Murray, who has gone missing while doing top secret work. They travel by Testerate, a wrinkle that transports one across space and time and discovers a dark force that threatens the very safety in the universe. And so, I read these when I was younger. These are... There is, this is a series, so there is more in this series. Um, they, like I said last year, they just did a movie on on this this book. Um, it is a very good book, and so let's. Uh, if you want any of these, like I said, we have the book version, and then they only made the first one in a graphic novel form, and we have both of those. The next one is a R.L. Stein. I loved reading R.L. Stein as a kid as well. I've read all of his. I especially like the Fear Street novels, which is one of these. And so this one's called The Lost Girl by R.L. Stein. And this one is a beautiful and mysterious new student, Lizzie Walker's star, talk of Shady Side High. Where did she come from? Where does she live? No one knows anything about her, but everyone wants to find out. Michael finds himself drawn to her. He can't stop thinking about her, but the closer he gets, the stronger, stranger she seems. Michael invites Elizabeth to join his group of friends on a day of fun in the snow, racing the snowmobiles through the woods. The day ends in a terrifying accident, and that's just the start of the horse. Michael is more puzzled than ever. Lisa can't be responsible, can she? So, like I said, um, R.L. Stein did like the Goosebump books and. They've done a movie off the Goosebumps, and there's others by him. Um, there's one, Can You Keep a Secret, and just a few others that are young adult. The next one. <clears throat> this one is a graphic novel. This one I read. It's really cute, and I do believe, if I remember correctly, it is based off a true story. It is. So, this one. Starting at a new school is scary, even more so when a giant hearing aid strapped to your chest. At her old school, everyone in CC's class was deaf. Here she is different. She is sure the kids are staring, staring at the phobic ear. A powerful aid that will help her hear her teacher. Too bad it also seems certain to repel potential friends. Then CC makes a strange, startling discovery. With the phonic ear, she can hear her teacher not just in the classroom, but anywhere her teacher is in the school. In the hallway, in the teacher's lounge, in the bathroom, this is power, maybe even super power. Cece is on her way to becoming El Defoe, listener for all, but the funny thing about being a superhero is that it's just another way of feeling different and lonely. Can Cece channel her powers into finding the things she wants most? A true friend. So this is a graphic memoir about a growing up deaf. It's also a forgettable book about growing up and all the super and super embarrassing moments along the way. As you can see, it is based off true stories, but this lady drew herself as a bunny. 
and it's about her journey with the new, the Philonic ear when she was younger. And like, it's, it's very cute. It was a good read. And it was, yeah. I like the fact that it's all has the bunnies. Everybody's a bunny in it. And it's a graphic novel for, if you like graphic novels, it's cute. Okay, so, last see. Very first Miss Alyssa's video. She did one by Catherine Applegate that was called The One and Only Ivan. So, this one I just finished. And this one is called, by Catherine Applegate, The One and Only Bob. And if you have not read The One and Only Ivan, you should. But there is a dog in there named Bob. And so this is called The One and Only Bob. And it is about Bob, of course. Bob is an independent dog. He knows he can still make it on his own if he had to. Even though he now has a home with his human friend, Julia. Regular meals, belly rubs, and a bed as he calls his own. But most important of all, he still gets to visit his best friends at his new home. Ivan, a silverback gorilla, and Ruby, a young elephant, live nearby in a sanctuary. A home for Bob, a home for his friends, and all the treats he could want. But something's missing. Someone is missing. Someone who Bob thought was gone forever. And today, he realizes he's, she's not. A lot can go wrong in a moment left to chance. The blink of an eye, the bounce of a bone. When a hurricane hits... Bob sets out on a dangerous journey in search of his long-lost sister with the aid of Ivan and Ruby. So this is the sequel to the one and only Ivan. Um, and it's, it, 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 does, it gives you a little bit more about Bob, what happened to his life, and, and it, it, it was a very cute, good read. Okay, so this one I have not read yet. It is one that I'm going to start. It's my next one. And so I just wanted to kind of point it out. No, I'm hoping it's good. It's called The Blood Air. Amelia um, Wynn Zoe, I think it's how it's pronounced. And so, as you can see, Blood Air. It's my next read. And then it is In the Carlian Empire, efforts are revealed. Their varied gifts control the world around them are unnatural, dangerous. And Anastasia Mikolov, the crown princess, has a secret. Her daily offense is blood is curse her is her curse. It is that she has lived her life hidden beyond palace walls. When Anna's father, the emperor, is murdered, her world is shattered, framed as her killer. Anna must flee to play to the palace to save her life and to clear her name. She must find her father's murderer on her own. But Cecilia, beyond the palace wall, is far different from the one she thought she knew. Corruption rules the land, and greater conspiracy is at work, one that threatens the very balance of the world. And there's only one person corrupt enough to help Anna get to its core. Ransom Quick Tongue. Cunning crime lord of Cecil Underworld. Ransom and his sinister plans. Though he might have met his match in Anna. Because in this story, the princess might be the most dangerous player of all. Alright, so that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys read some of these. 